Hey everyone and welcome back to the Soybean YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cursed Volcanic Pistol. So this will be added on to my weapon review series that we've been doing a lot recently. Um, and I would recommend watching the Frozen Volcanic video as well because they're all, really all these videos are pretty similar. So we're going to be doing multiple things, like every other of these like um, new testing videos. We're going to be testing damage testing, player testing, dual testing, and animal testing. We will also be showing gameplay of said weapon, which is the Cursed Volcanic, and stuff like that. So I think we're actually going to be doing first, like every other video, damage testing on these cows right here. Because they are the same like damage system as the players. Let's start that out. Alright, so my first impression of the Cursed Volcanic is this is honestly a really cool and good looking gun. Here's how it looks through the sights. There's not really a... Uh, good like centerpiece you could really look through like if you're in first person it's really a um, luck of the draw like you can see you can't even see the cows if I'm doing this but there's I mean I really don't know what to say just really cool looking um let me actually take off my holster oh well I guess you can't take off your holster I, for some reason I thought this was no holster but it just isn't like showing up but I mean it looks just so cool with the fire effect on it and then when you pull it out, it takes a second, but it, like, starts getting, um, flamey. And there's a little bit of black smoke, if you can see that. It just looks really cool. There's, like, the little Windigo logo, or whatever that is, on the side. But anyway, and then when you fire, it shoots, um, there's this little icon thing. I really don't know what you would call that thing, honestly. Please let me know in the comments below, like, a little pop-up. So, obviously, this gun, if you hold F, you can fan fire. And you can fire normally. It has eight rounds, it is it's pretty accurate, and it has a pretty good, like, amount of damage. It's basically, well, not basically, this is just a reskin of the normal, um, volcanic pistol, I could not think of it, which is only bought at Fort Henry, which you'll drop it once you die. But this, you keep forever, as long as you have it. I don't use this gun typically, because normally, I use the Occult Sawed-Off and the Lancaster. But, I mean, this is just such a good gun. So, up close to the cow. 60 damage to the head. 30 to the body. Same if you're fan firing. That was, I missed. That didn't, it should have registered as a headshot, but I missed. It's the same if you are fan firing as if you're normally firing. There isn't a damage decrease or anything. So, we're already starting to see a drop off. So, up here. Still drop off. Missed. There we go. So, right about here. Maybe here. Yeah, like, right about here is where you start seeing a damage drop off. I mean, that's not... I mean... I don't know what I, how I feel about that. We are not too far away from the animal. And we are already losing damage. It's not a lot of damage, but if we go up here, say... Even though the accuracy is still really good... Obviously, we are already losing 11 damage points. Even further back. And now, now we're at 24. Jeez. Oh, I just hit the body. At 47. So still, it is really dropping off really fast. That is one critique I do have about this weapon. But, I mean, let me go back again further. And just a fan fire. Here's normal accuracy if you're looking. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the crosshair... Holding F as a fan fire really does not affect your accuracy of the weapon. So if you are getting further away, you can still hit almost every shot on the animal, which is actually really good. And I think that's going to prove very well in the animal testing, which we are going to go do right now. All right, so here we are saying hello to the bison. Again, we've done this multiple days in a row of this testing. So we're gonna back a little bit further away. Hold F. All right, so I missed a good amount of those shots, but I think I landed four, two headshots and two body shots. I mean, that's pretty good. Someone recommended that I stand on one of these rocks while doing the damage testing on the bears because that's what they're gonna do normally. So, wow, that bear dropped a lot of loot. Oh, well, my inv inventory's full. Too bad. So, pretty good. I would say this gun is pretty good sidearm for hunting. Say a little bison again. One of the biggest, um, I think pros of the Cursed Volcanic. What is attacking me? I guess nothing. One of the biggest pros of the Cursed Volcanic, I would say, 
is it keeps accuracy even if you're fan firing. So if we try to go a little bit further away from this bear, I get wrecked. But still, if I play my cards right, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, you could, you, there's a chance you could kill a bear that way. But if you're standing on a rock like you're supposed to, I think you have a pretty good chance of winning that fight. Let's see how it does against the alligators. Alright, so here we are in the swamp, saying hello to the alligators. So there we go. I mean, alligators, they aren't the fastest, or so they're faster than, um, I don't know what they're faster than, honestly. But they are pretty fast, and I'm still, like, I'm far away. And with fan firing, even though my accuracy is not good, that's just my fault, because I'm honestly not the best at the Wild West with, um, PvP. But, just fan firing and holding down F while doing it and you're still keeping that accuracy is really good. Hello, train. But, I mean, I really don't know what to say. This gun, it's a good gun. I would highly recommend someone trade for it because it is going for about 35000 on the market currently. I do not know. This number might have changed by the time you, the viewer, are watching this video. But... I would highly recommend getting this gun. It's beautiful looking. It fires pretty fast. It has a decent reload. It has a very large, um, like, clip. It's not a clip, but you know what I mean. Like, the amount of bullets it can hold. Eight? That's a lot. That's double the Lancaster. And it reloads really fast, too. So, let's see how it does in, like, dual testing slash player testing slash game testing right now. Let's see what they do. Oh, hit the first shot. One downside again. Ow. GG. I would say a downside is the effect that pops up whenever you do a shot. Like, I'm actually gonna be dangerous for a second here. To really display. That was mean. Oh no, it's a person with a... How am I missing? Oh no. Ah. It got really laggy there. That was not good. Um, anyways. I do not like the way that, um, the fire really, like, spurts out of the gun. I'm gonna show you here at Callahan one more time. If you're right here, you see that, like, particle effect? If you're shooting at someone and they're moving around, you might lose sight of them. That It's very minor... But it is definitely something to consider while I'm, like, thinking of purchasing this gun. If that audio is really loud, I'm sorry if you could not hear what I was saying. But would I recommend buying this gun? Eh, probably. If you are given the chance, and you're upgrading from, say, a hammerless or something else like that, I would definitely recommend buying this. It's a pretty strong purchase. It's nowhere near as much as the Patterson Navy. Um, the damage is alright. 60 damage to the head. That's pretty good. That's a two-shot kill. Um, but 30 to the body, that's going to take a nice four shots if you're, like, at the close distance. So, out of 10, I'd rate this gun about a 7.5 or an 8. It has a really good value, though, currently. As I said when recording this video, I believe it's valued at $35,000 to trade. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are currently still trying to pass Sizzo in subscribers. It's going to be very difficult to do it, but I think that we can. If we have enough um, effort and enough like people for this like attempt, I think we can pass Sizzo. He's one of my friends. This isn't like, I'm not being mean to Sizzo. We're just having like a friendly thing. I'm just trying to, you know, YouTube stuff. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I really hope this helped, and I'll see you all later.